hate that picture. <laughs> Always pull such funny faces. I like that one. Oh, such an ugly photo. But great day, great day, but ugly photo. MK Dons, yeah, it's a great day. That was, funny enough, the 100th game, so, but headband. A few headbands in the time. Bournemouth, we're unlucky that day. First goal. Recent ones, Norwich. It was only the other week, wasn't it? But yeah, still a good day. Yeah, good day. Yeah, I was just looking at the picture from the Crawley goal. I think that's how surprised I was with that. But I got a bit lucky, but yeah, that was a good goal. If I'd have shot and it went over, it all counted for nothing. So in the end, it worked out well. And I've, yeah, I've watched it a few times, put it that way. <laughs> chance here, turned in on the rebound, raiding mission from Matthew Clark. he was the one who started it all off. Someone made a comment that I'm, when I score I always look really surprised and I, I think it's pretty true, I look at all the pictures I'm sort of, so I think I've, I told myself that next time I score I'm going to be sort of calm, cool and composed. Uh, this one yeah, I remember seeing, I think it was that one was it, I think yeah when I signed that's what the picture they used in the paper and stuff so my mate's going to be a bit banter for that. I hadn't played any, hadn't started any games in the league for Ipswich, and I was just looking to, looking for someone that would give me a chance, sort of thing. But obviously, Portsmouth weren't going to say, "Oh, he's going to come down and play," because they already had, they were building a squad at the time as well. So yeah, I came down and had to sort of show him what I could do in in many respects. And yeah, I was just lucky that it, it worked out the way it did. Yeah, I remember driving down with like a week's worth of clothes, just sort of stuff to get me through the week, and. I, I don't, don't think I had my heart set that it was going to be. I just sort of had an open mind and thought, we'll, we'll sort of see what happens. I think I, I remember, I think it was the first game we played Coventry at Haven't, because obviously I think our pitch was getting relayed or something. And even for that game, there was it was noisy. There was fans. You thought flipping out. I remember getting tweets after the game and stuff like that. So yeah, I knew right from the, right from the off that it's a sort of special place to play football. So. Well, you can hear the fans now, the atmosphere building up, Pompey fans again trickling in, in their hundreds into that stand, the Jimmy Cyril stand opposite us here at Meadow Lane. Real army of Pompey fans have invaded Nottingham. They've already started chants of, we are going up, they're looking forward to this afternoon. Today, Portsmouth take on Notts County in League Two. And the atmosphere is electric. I was just unlucky, to be fair. I got injured the game before, and if it was a couple of days after, I'd have played, but just the way it goes. Uh, I was in with the away fans, so we just sort of, as the game sort of came to a halt, I think it went 3 1, didn't it? So we knew we were going to win. We sort of slivered back round to the bench. I remember being on the bench, and sort of everyone sort of G'd up, ready to go, so. I remember it just being chaos, there's fans everywhere. Obviously a day out in Nottingham, so they were, sort of, they were all a bit, had a few beers or whatever, and yeah, it's a crazy scene. The, the main goal that season was just to get promotion, because I don't think we were ever really sort of taken the league by storm. We were never points clear at the top, and to win the league in the end sort of seems nice, because I suppose, looking whenever you read a thing, it's always the title winning team. So yeah, that, that's nice, but yeah, the main objective was just to get promotion. Yeah, another, another funny photo. That went in our group chat and I remember thinking, what was I doing? <laughs> Curtis up towards the far post, it goes deep, it's headed back into an area from Clark. Hard it away, not once but twice, a second time from Andrew. Here is Clark in the penalty area, good trickery from him. Clark shoots with the left foot! That should be it for Pompey! I think it's, it's just one of the things in the moment Instinctively, I, I don't know, I just maybe thought that he was going to lunge or thought that he didn't really want to be in, I think he was a striker, wasn't he? so I don't think he really wanted to be in that position and then it sort of set up just to strike it because I don't think it was a definite one to pull back, so. Top five. Hmm. This one's definitely in there. That's Golvey Crawley, that's got to be in there. There it is. 
There we go, top five. Awful hand dryer. Norwich away, I had a lot of family there that day. Good result, I think we're sort of hanging on towards the end and then to get the winner, yeah, I suppose that's, that's the FA Cup in it, so. My run and goal v Crawley, I think during the season I, I got on a lot of runs and it was nice that sort of one paid off with a goal and I suppose it was a little bit lucky how it came back to me but I take it all nevertheless. MK Don's away, so I think we had 6,000 people there, uh, 6,000 travelling fans there that day, I think it was my 100th game. I think I scored the equaliser and then I think Chappers got the, got the winner and it was just a, just a good day I think for, obviously for the club. First professional goal, uh, don't think you feel like you're a, you're a player really until you've, you've sort of had that moment and obviously to score your first goal at, at Fratton Park and f at the Fratton end, I think that's as sort of good as the first goal gets really, so that's why that's that. The title winning day at Southsea, I think um, as I said earlier, I think it's sort of a whole season's work into sort of one day of celebration, so yeah, there was a so, few sore heads that day, I, I remember it all and yeah, it was, it was a really good day and one that I think I'll remember forever really, so that's the, the one day anyone, I think that's the day I talk about the most really, while well, the moment of your career you're going to talk about the most, obviously it would be nice to add another one to it, but um, yeah, for the moment that's number one.